Let's add a new server to our Backup Exec 20 configuration. Go ahead and click on Add while we're in the Backup and Restore tab. And we have a lot of different options here. So we can add a Microsoft Windows computer, VMware, Hyper-V host, and several other options. If you don't see an option here that you're looking for, it's possible you did not install the feature that you need, such as if you don't see Linux and you want to install to a Linux, then you've got to go up to the tab, the button up here, and then click on Settings, and then Add Features, and then add the Linux option. And I have a separate video on that if you want to check it out. All right, so let's go ahead and add a Windows computer. Go ahead and click Next. We also want to allow Backup Exec to establish a trust with the server so we get proper reporting, and it also troubleshoots some issues with backing up. So we're going to type in the name of the server here. We're going to call this one Server 2019. Click Add. And instead of the widget administrator, this is in a completely different uh, domain. So we're going to click on New Logon Account. And the username is going to be the domain backslash administrator. And we'll put in the password a couple of times. And we'll go ahead and click OK. And it's just going to confirm. And now it's asking us, uh, do we want to upgrade the backup exec agent if it's already there? Well, I know it's not there, so we'll just go ahead and uncheck it. And it also gives us the option to restart the computer automatically after installing the agent uh, if it's required. And if it's a production server, you don't want to do that. In this case, it is not, so I'll just go ahead and check the box. And in most cases, it does not need to restart. And we'll click Install. So now it's reaching out to the 2019 server where it's going to attempt to use the username and password I typed in to install the agent. This process can take anywhere from a few minutes up to 10 or 15 minutes, depending on the speed of your computer and the speed of the computer that you're connecting to, as well as the network connections uh, between the two. You can see during the process that it's going to install certain things like Visual C++, as well as the agent itself. And if it doesn't already have C++, then it does take a little longer to install. And that's typically needed for a backup type of program. You might also see it if you have certain types of SQL programs as well. And we were successful in installing the agent off to server 2019. And we now see server 2019 in our list of servers. So from here, if we want to, we can go ahead and choose backup, backup to disk, and we can go ahead and backup the server. If we click on edit, we can choose a scheduled backup that does a full backup once a week and an incremental backup daily. And we can also go into Edit, and we can choose to check or uncheck certain files from our backup. And when we're all done having it just the way we want it, we can go ahead and click OK. And then the backup itself is now scheduled. If you want to go in and edit the backup, you can double click on it. And from here, we can expand and either right click and edit the full backup or the incremental backup or just double click on it and choose to edit here which edits the settings or here which edits which data gets backed up. So that's how we add a new server to Backup Exec 20 and in this case a 2019 Windows server.